Well, several things. F firstly, I mean, I don't ever go along really with the term progressive. I mean, I think it makes several massive errors. One is a lot of people like to call themselves progressives. And I was once told years ago by a philosopher that you should never, you should never use a term or never use a sentence even, the opposite of which would only be used by a madman. Um, unless there were a very large movement of people boasting about being regressive, the use of the word progressive is um, it's an uncounted form of halo polishing, self-halo polishing. I'm a progressive. Oh, nice. What a nice person you must be. Not like those awful self-confessed regressives over there. So I think it, it doesn't work on a definitional sense. It also doesn't work, it's sort of, it, it pushes this teleological version of history where we're always surging forward to more and more rights and more and more um, improvement and, and so on. And I think, I know why there is an attraction to that. I just think it's something which even if it's so deeply embedded in the hardware now of people in societies like ours should be pushed back against at least a bit. I mean, uh, of course you can say that things progress, but you also have to put great big butts in along the way. It's like that great argument over the, um, over whether or not the 20th century constituted progress and you show all the ways in which it did, but you've got two great big butts in the form of the two world wars and those are massive butts. And, uh, I can, I can think of smaller examples of the same today. So, so the first thing is that it may be that progressives are dreaming and living a dream that's not itself based on very much other than some kind of um, optimistic high. So I'd, I'd say that first. But the other thing is, is that there seems to me just to be a, and perhaps it's in what you term the progressive mindset especially, but an unwillingness to follow ideas to their conclusions. Uh, what is one of the most popularly heard things of our day, but I find that offensive, or you can't say that. Very rarely that's untrue. Very rarely. Um, I always find an enormous relief when somebody says that's untrue, and let me tell you why. Um, but it's, it's, it's quite rare, that much more common to say that's offensive. Um, which is, of course, often the case, but then a lot of the facts of life are very offensive. Almost everything in life is offensive or has the capacity to offend. So it, 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 it's, it's not a great way to pursue truth, but then you have to think, well, is even pursuing truth a very popular pastime these days? Um, and I'm not sure it is. So for all of those reasons, people don't particularly want to... S the fact that people don't particularly want to see things uh, don't particularly want to face up to things is absolutely no useful criteria for whether or not the things which they don't want to face up to are true or not. In fact, it may be quite the opposite. The things they don't wish to face up to, the thing, things they don't wish to admit to, are probably the things most likely to be true.